There's an old story of a lighthouse keeper that loses his mind while working alone amongst the sea. Only later to find out it wasn't the solitude, but rather mercury poisoning that drove them mad. And while I don't believe they use mercury in cameras or much of any consumer products anymore, here is me, in solitude, losing my mind. I'm Brett Miller, welcome to my channel here. Today we're going over how well of a vlogging camera really is the Sony ZV-1F. And everything in this video is gonna be shot on this camera. And by the end, I hope you can decide if the ZV-1F is the right camera for you. Now I determined that the best way to actually figure out if the Sony ZV-1 is a good vlogging camera is to do just that, a vlog. So let's see how we got here. So if you don't know the area, we're here in Cleveland, down at Edgewater Park, uh, Whiskey Island, Wendy Park, a lot of different names for this area down here. But it really couldn't be a worse day, really, to film this video. I was hoping for some sunshine this weekend, get this in and knock this video out for you guys that are interested in uh, the Sony ZV-1. F, but super windy out here, so hopefully the audio turns out pretty nice. But we're down here at this old Coast Guard station. It's like an old lighthouse. And the one thing that's cool about Cleveland is you can pretty much go to these really cool sites any time of the day, as long as it's not a beautiful day and there's nobody out here. So you have the whole place to yourself. But I'll show you some B-roll of this old kind of abandoned building. It's pretty cool. I come out here to fish from time to time in the fall and it's just really a very cool location in the city. Okay, so let's talk picture quality here. We're shooting this at 4K 24 frames per second. The max you can shoot on this camera in 4K is 30 frames per second. Uh, but you can do 1080p up to 120 and there's some slow motion and speed ramps in here that I'm shooting at 1080 and you can kind of see that you know the 1080 really is uh, very quality it's HD especially if you're just doing vlog style stuff you're not shooting movies and, and cinematic video you know 1080p is way more than enough if you need to do a little bit higher frame rates uh, but you can still do the 4k 30 which 4K24, which is what I like, and it looks great. The, vi the footage looks really good. So while I'm kind of uh, keeping my eye on it, let's talk about battery life. Battery life is the Achilles heel of this thing, really. Um, they are cheap batteries. You can get a set of two for, I think, around $20 on Amazon. Um, but I've just been out here shooting for maybe 20 minutes to a half an hour, and not even consistently. And we're on one bar left so hopefully i can get the rest of this video in you know the real downfall is it is a small camera so it has a small battery uh and it's just something you're gonna have to either work around or find a, a solution you know i don't think it's a deal breaker as far as the camera goes though if you're looking to do vlog style things you just need to buy more batteries So this will be a real test of the uh, deity here with this wind. I mean, we're walking right into the south wind here. But how cool is this place out here? It kind of reminds me of that movie with uh, Robert. Jesus, my mind, my brain is terrible anymore. Robert Pattinson and uh, Daniel, Daniel Defoe. I almost said Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Defoe or William, Willem Defoe. Willem Defoe. Uh, where they're lighthouse keepers. I think it's called the lighthouse. It's just real eerie up here, kind of, especially with the weather the way it is. Um, it is April, just so you know. It was 80 last week, so pick and choose your days. So let's talk about focal length. 20 millimeters is 
I think, almost perfect if you're gonna do vlogs. If you can see in my background here, I've got the uh, lighthouse here, and it just gets a lot of the background. And, and if you're doing vlogs like these where you wanna get you know, the majority of your background. You need to get the environment. 20 millimeters doesn't give you that fisheye look. It doesn't give you, it's, it's kind of as close to natural uh, as you can get, you know. I'm at full length here, so I'm a full arm's length. You can clearly see everything kind of around me in the distance here. The uh, original ZV-1's a little tighter. I think it's a 24 millimeter, and that was a lot of the complaint. Uh, but 20 millimeter, it's super comfortable to hold out in front of you, and it's, you know, just gives you a nice, wild, wide field of view. I think it's almost the perfect vlogging focal length that you could ask for. But with that, uh, the company Newer has given you the option to go even wider than 20 millimeters and it is with their, it's called the wide angle macro lens, and it's just this little lens. And here's another thing, if you're gonna be doing vlogs like this, you need to get a wireless microphone, especially on days like this where it's like super windy. Those shotgun style mics that kind of just sit on the top of the camera really don't work in this environment when there's a wind right in your face, pretty much hitting the microphone. You know, it's gonna kill any kind of good audio that chance that you have, unless you wanna spend all day waiting for the wind to break and taking uh, video as you do that. And I'm using the Deity Pocket Wireless, uh, and I think it works really well out here in the wind with this. Uh, wind muff here. If you need a wireless microphone, there's a lot out there now. This one's a couple years old now, uh, but it's, you know, really good quality at a very affordable price. But if you need a wireless microphone, check out the video I did on the Deity uh, Pocket Wireless. I'll put it up here if uh, you want to check that out after this video. And with this wind, I'm not even going to try to, uh, use the external microphone. It'll make this thing look absolutely terrible. But we'll try it inside. Uh, when we're back to the desk, we'll try that and I'll show you just kind of how it sounds if, you know, you weren't in a uh, freshwater hurricane. And this is the audio just from the onboard microphone built into the camera. Put in the comments below, what do you think of the audio? So I made it back from my solitude on the Lighthouse Island uh, down in Cleveland, and it was such a great time, uh, and it was really cool and very eerie, and sometimes it's just really fun to create something in that atmosphere. And there's also some functions on the Sony ZV-1F that uh, I didn't really cover out on the vlog, but I wanted to cover shortly, and one of them is specifically the ability to shoot quality, quick, and easy time lapses. But in using the Sony ZV-1F for the first time in an actual, I guess, official vlog, uh, I did learn some things for vloggers, or if you are looking to use this camera in more of a vlog style content, it's definitely a great entry level camera, but it does have its flaws as you would expect at a $500 price range. Firstly, if you need stabilized footage, the rolling shutter and stabilization in this camera are awful. It's one of the things I've read several times that people's main complaint is about the camera. Now, you can use Catalyst Browse with this camera since it is a newer Sony camera, but you're going to lose a lot of your focal length due to the fact when you use Catalyst Browse, it crops in your image significantly in order to stabilize your footage. So that's just kind of one thing you have to take into account is if you're going to use Catalyst Browse and you need to make your footage more stabilized, you're not gonna have the same focal length as you would have. Secondly, this onboard mic, if you wanna just be a run and gun kind of vlogger and you know film your day to day without any kind of microphone, the onboard microphone built into the ZV-1F is okay, but it's not game changing. It's not anything significant to where I would say 
If you want to make more cinematic vlogs, more, uh, you know, professional style content, the onboard mic just does not do it for me, at least. I, I don't think it's quality. I do believe that a lot of YouTube videos and videos in general has to be story based and it's more interesting if you know it's a good story but if you don't have the aesthetic of good audio along with the good video it just ruins things so definitely if you're going to get this camera invest in a good microphone and lastly if you're going to be a vlogger and you want to implement story into your actual vlogs rather than just doing a day-to-day -day look at what I'm doing, I'm going grocery shopping kind of uh, content. I think that you do need the ability to change lenses. Now, that wide angle lens definitely helps give you a wider focal length, a, a wider field of view, as far as you know, capturing your background or capturing landscapes, but just the ability to change your focal length wider than 20 millimeters or tighter than 20 millimeters if you want to make your vlogs more cinematic is just something you have to take into account. And while the Sony ZV-1F does have its shortcomings, I think it's a great camera that does exactly what it was created to do. And that is be an entry level camera for vloggers. But it makes you wonder, is it a great camera for everyday YouTubers? Nope. I guess we'll have to find out. Press that, check that. I'm Brett Miller. Have a great day.